Today on CVT we are going over the setup and installation of the Dosetronic Smart Dozer by Focustronic. Hello, this is Carlos and welcome to another episode of CVTV. Alkalinity testing and controlling machines are a norm now, with multiple companies releasing their own product. But as fast as these machines came to the market, users especially the ones running two-part or full balling method, started to notice that it became harder to ensure that all parts were added to the system equally. This is because most alkalinity testing machines can control one dosing head to supplement alkalinity, but that's just it, one head. If you're using two-part balling method, even when you do manual adjustment, you must ensure you do equal amounts for each of the different parts. The Dosetronic Smart Doser by Focustronic aims to remedy this issue plus much more. It comes equipped with five dosing heads that can be programmed individually or, when working in conjunction with the Alkatronic, can be grouped to ensure that if you are running two-part balling method, all parts are added to the system equally even when the Alkatronic testing machine needs to do one-time adjustments. Before we start with the setup, installation, and configuration, Let's make sure that everything is included and nothing is missing from the box. The box should include Dostronic unit, power adapter, power cable, mounting bracket, silicon tubing. Installation is simple. Just connect the Dostronic to the power and place it in a location near the tank or sump and near your dosing containers. Connect the silicon tubing to the dosing heads. The left side barb is the output and should be directed to your tank or sump while the right side barb is the head's input, which is connected to your dosing containers. To configure the Dosetronic, you will need to download the latest version of the Alcatronics mobile app. Before you open the app, make sure that your Bluetooth is enabled. Open the app and log in. If you need to create an account, do so. Select Add New Device and then select Dosetronic. Now enter the serial number of the Dosetronic and tap OK. Tap on the Dosetronic serial number and select Update Wi-Fi settings. Wait for the Bluetooth connection, which can take between 5 and 15 seconds. Now, enter your Wi-Fi's SSID and password and tap on Save again. Completely close the app and restart the unit by disconnecting and reconnecting the power source. Wait 5 minutes to allow the unit to fully cycle and connect to your home's Wi-Fi. Once connected, your mobile device will receive a confirmation. Open the Alcatronic app again and then tap on the Dosetronic serial number. Now tap View to configure it. If you have an Alcatronic, you can connect your Dosetronic wirelessly to the Alcatronic by tapping on the Link Alcatronic on the app and entering your Alcatronic's serial number. Don't forget to tap on Save. Before we proceed with creating our schedule, we must first ensure that the five dosing pumps on the Dosetronic are properly primed, calibrated, and configured. To prime a pump head, tap on the specific pump and then tap on Start next to Prime. Continue to do this until there is no air left on the silicon line. Repeat this process for all dosing heads in use. Once all lines have been properly primed, it is time to calibrate. On the app, select the pump you wish to calibrate and then tap on Calibrate. Place the output hose on a 50 or 100 milliliter calibration beaker and then press Start. After the Dostronic stops, remove the hose from the beaker and read the volume. Enter this volume on the app and press Save. Repeat this process for every pump in use. Let's go ahead and configure the dosing pumps. On the app, tap on the pump you wish to configure. From the configuration screen, you will be able to rename each pump. If you want the Dostronic to notify you when the liquid containers are low, then enable Refill Alert. Please remember though that the Dostronic relies on you entering the correct starting volume in order for the refill alert to work correctly. If you need the Dostronic to notify you every time the pump head performs a dosing, then enable Dose Alert. Be sure to enter the correct volume on your liquid container on the remaining volume. Creating a schedule for each pump is very simple. From the Dostronic section of the Alcatronic app, select the pump and tap on View Schedule. Click on Schedule Generator and enter the total daily dose and the total number of daily doses. The Dosetronic will automatically create an even schedule to ensure stable levels. If you wish to increase or decrease the total daily volume, just tap on Manual Overall Adjustment and enter the adjustment percentage. An example, 
If your schedule is adding 10 milliliters of solution 10 times a day for a total of 100 milliliters, then a manual overall adjustment of positive 10% will increase each of the 10 individual points by one milliliter. You can also create or adjust your schedule manually. To add time points, just tap on the plus icon on the top right corner. To modify an individual point, just tap on the individual point and then adjust the time and volume. If you wish to delete an individual point, just swipe right to left on the point to delete it. Another great feature of the Dostronic app is the ability to copy schedules. If you're using a two-part balling method, multiple dosing pumps must share the same schedule. Instead of painstakingly creating the same schedule multiple times, just tap on copy schedule and specify the pump you wish to copy the schedule from. The Dostronic is also smart enough to automatically delay the copied schedule by five minutes to prevent chemical interference. Alcatronic mode is another great feature for the Dostronic, only available if you're using it in conjunction with the Alcatronic alkalinity controller. Alcatronic mode allows an individual or multiple dosing heads to be controlled by the Alcatronic machine. It is perfect for those of you that want to use the Dostronic to supplement your tanks with two-part or some type of balling method. If your alkalinity level goes down too low, the Alcatronic can also instruct the dosing pump to do a one-time dosing of alkaline solution to get your systems back to a normal level. If you set multiple pumps to Alcatronic mode, then all selected pumps will dose the same one-time volume to the tank, ensuring that both parts are added to the tank equally. And after that, resume normal operations and follow the preset schedule. If a pump head is not in Alcatronic mode, it will only follow your set schedule. Now, what makes Dostronic different is not that it can group pumps together so they can all dose the same volume. It's not that some pumps can be set to take instructions from the Alcatronic machine. It's not even that you can connect wirelessly to your mobile app. What makes the Dostronic different is its ability to work together with the Alcatronic controlling system. If your alkalinity's testing history shows that alkalinity gradually goes down during the day and then goes up, during the night, the Dostronic will look at the graph and automatically adjust your schedule to make sure that the swing between day and night is minimized. There are two ways which the Dostronic makes corrections to your dosing schedule. Overall dosing adjustment, or ODA, and selective dosing adjustment, commonly referred as SDA. The overall dosing adjustment will do equal adjustments to your entire dosing schedule. If your alkalinity demands have gone up and your current dosing regimen is not sufficient, the Dostronic will automatically increase the volume of every point in your dosing schedule. In the same manner, if your alkalinity demands go down and your alkalinity is slowly increasing, then the Dostronic will automatically lower the volume of every dosing point in your schedule. The Selective Dosing Adjustment, or SDA, will make adjustments to your individual points in your schedule to ensure a more stable alkalinity. For example, if your alkalinity goes up during the night and then down during the day, the SDA will increase the volume during the day to prevent the alkalinity from getting too low, and at the same time, decrease the volume during the night to prevent a spike. To configure the adjustment method, start your alkalinity app and enter the Alcatronic section. Go to Settings and enable Dostronic mode, and then select the adjustment method you prefer. If you want a more in-depth explanation of the two adjustment functions, including some examples, please refer to pages 10 through 12 of the Dostronic manual, which can be downloaded visiting the link below. Well, that's our video for today. If you would like to learn more about the Dostronic, including detailed specs, beautiful high quality pictures, and replacement parts, head on over to CoralView.com. If you have any questions or issues with the product, don't hesitate to visit our support portal at CoralView.com forward slash support. Our friendly support reps are eager to help you with any questions or issues you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest product reviews and tutorial videos. You can also follow us on Twitter at CoralView and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash CoralView Aquarium Products. See you next time.